Hello Space Coast, welcome to the News in 90 Seconds for Friday, January 7th. I'm Rob Landers. If the Thursday afternoon launch of a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket is any indication, the Space Coast should be in for an impressive year of space-related activities. The 230-foot high rocket took off at 4.49 p.m. Thursday from Kennedy Space Center's Pad 39A, carrying 49 Starlink satellites to low Earth orbit. You can read more about the mission and other missions coming up this year online now at floridatoday.com. First, the flocks of birds didn't arrive, then Omicron did. Citing an explosion of COVID-19 on the Space Coast and a warm winter without many migratory birds, the Space Coast Birding and Wildlife Festival, the premier ecotourism event in Central Florida, has been canceled for the first time in its quarter century existence. You can read more about what led festival organizers to make the decision in Jim Waymer's story on floridatoday.com. A former Brevard County Sheriff's Office corrections deputy held a naked man at gunpoint, filmed him for hours, forced him to sign a $30,000 contract, and threatened to send incriminating video to his family and church, an investigative report said. Amini Robillard, 30, of St. Cloud, was arrested November 27th on charges of robbery with a firearm, extortion with a weapon, and false imprisonment with a weapon. Robillard has entered a written plea of not guilty, and he remains jailed without bond in Orange County. Florida Today's Rick Neal has all the details on this bizarre story on floridatoday.com. Not yet a subscriber? Unlock unlimited digital access to your best source for news and information on the Space Coast. Visit floridatoday.com slash subscribe. And that's 90 seconds. Thanks for watching.